Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from the Lakeside Villa Harbor in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were exploring a giant ass chavern that we found underneath the Mole City sewer system. And in this episode, guys, we are going to be working on the Lakeside Villa Harbor. I have taken away the physics fails that were those pillars of dirt holding up this ridiculous tonnage of a villa and in this episode guys we are going to try and finish off um, the harbor as well as as sort out the physics fail that was going on down here one of the biggest requests in the last video from you guys was to please sort out the harbor and sort out the physics fails and that is what we are going to be doing today guys what i have done is i have lowered the uh, the harbor around here by one block and what i'm thinking right is to um put the the surface of the harbor um, for the surface of the harbor i want to use these jungle wooden planks right i think that looks really harbory <laughs> if that's a word but but what i want to do is line the actual canals using stone bricks so the uh, the top of the the top of the harbor is going to look like that right and then what i want to do is line the canals with these stone bricks so we're going to get this sort of um 16th century harbor feel going on which i think is really sweet and uh, i think that looks kind of cool um looking really nice in fact and um i'm very very happy with that although i i mean it's kind of it's it's kind of weird to me that yeah what we're gonna have to do right because these because this jungle wood because the plankage comes down like this the the lines of the plankage are, are horizontal in this in this texture what we're going to have to do is actually line the the um water canals with stone like this right and then what we'll do is build the floor on of the harbor on the other side of the stone so there we go that is actually looking even better man that looks absolutely epic so the the canal is going to be lined with stone bricks and then behind the canal will be the jungle wood plankage just like this um so that is absolutely awesome this over here is going to be our sort of harbor so this is where the sh if you're coming by sea you will bring your boat in this canal and then turn um left into this area over here this is where you can come and dock i guess this is the docking area um of the harbor so this is pretty sweet and what i want to do is make the bottom of the canals um I think I was thinking about making it cobblestone, but I might just make it um, the, the same stone bricks as those, just to keep everything as symmetrical as possible. Um, but the sun sounds like it has gone down, guys, and that's not good news. So we um, have brought Paloma along with us. Where is she? There she is. She is keeping creepers away from us, um, but that does not stop skeletons and zombies interfering with our crafting. So we've got to keep our eyes open, man. And of course, guys, if we head down this shaft over here, we find ourselves at the double mob spawners um, that we found uh, <laughs> way, way, way back when, I think, at the end of uh, season one and, and the beginning of season two. But let's just have a look what it's going to look like if we make the floor of the canals out of cobblestone. Let's have a look. How does that look? I mean, it's, it, it might change once there's water in here too, you know, that it, it might start looking a little bit better once we've got water in here. But I think that's kind of cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that, man. That's, that's pretty sweet. Um, so I tell you what, guys, I'm going to kick this puppy into fast forward mode and get all of this work done. I hope you guys enjoy the next few minutes of super hyper crafting. <laughs> and we'll see you on the other side of this kaplam. Kaplam!
<laughs> All right, guys, we are back, man. We were under siege. Um, <laughs> damn, just as the sun was coming up, the creeps decided to launch their attack, and man, that was uh, pretty intense, but we managed to survive, and uh, we are almost done with building this, um, the, the outline of our harbor. I think it is looking freaking sweet, and uh, man, it, this is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to, to flood this channel with water, uh, you know, to get all the water in there, and you know, we're going to be able to start doing more boat trips over to the second continent, or to other areas, and uh, man, that is going to be so sweet. And man, I can't believe it's taken us so long to get working on this Lakeside Villa Harbour, man. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, this was one of the one of the uh, the biggest projects that we started in season one. And I guess I just I just never got around to coming back to the Lakeside Villa, just being distracted by other projects like the the Nether Portal Temple, and now the you know the Mole City Sewerage Sewerage, Sewerage Network, Mole City itself, the Granny Dog Monument. We still got the Witch's Cave to to build, man. But this is like, what, episode 67? Damn, people, we still have so much to do in this season, man. Uh, we better get cracking, damn. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish everything in, uh, that we want to do in season 2 in the next, what, 43, no, even less, 33 episodes? Man, we're going to have to work our butts off, guys. We have so much to complete in season 2, man, because in season 3, well... The plan at the moment is to go to the end in Season 3, so we don't have any time to carry on projects into Season 3. We need to get everything finished as soon as possible, people. But uh, <laughs> that is the lining of our water canals now done, so I am very happy with that. I think that's looking absolutely spiffy. And uh, what we need to do now is just get all the jungle wood plankage up in here, and uh, that's going to complete the look quite nicely I think I think what we'll do is, is make it come all the way out into the beach over here because um, of course this is where we're gonna break the water right the water's gonna break over here so the border of it is gonna sit just like that and let's get all of the stone brickage into place and let's get some of these jungle wood planks into place um, what I've just realized thinking about flooding these canals is that we're gonna have to make all the water in the canals still right and um, that means we're gonna have to add a water source to every single block in the canal and uh, the reason that we need to do that is because if we want to be able to float through this canal in peace and calm we need to make sure that it is as still as the ocean and that there aren't any currents that are gonna sort of mess with our trajectory as we travel through um, the water canals in our boats you know Minecraft boats are tiny little wooden dinghies basically um, pieces of rubbish I would call them <laughs> so uh, the stilla that you know if you're going to make a harbor for minecraft boats man that harbor has got to be absolutely 100 percent still um so maybe we'll experiment a, a bit with that at the end of this episode if we can get this harbor floor laid down quick enough you know paloma is doing such a good job protecting us i haven't seen or heard a creeper in a long ass time so thank you paloma you are the best cyber cat in the world man in fact, you put all the you put all the dogs to shame, and you actually do work. the the uh, The cyber dogs in the cyber dog pack, man, those dogs are they kind of they kind of useless, man. You know what I'm saying? They they're way too friendly. They see a zombie, they don't attack it. They sort of say hi. They run up to the zombie to see if they can maybe you know get one of its bones to chew on. You know that they're, they're like hello, hello zombie. Do you mind if I chew on one of your bones? Um, you know what I want them to do is to be murderizing those zombies, man. But um, you know, Paloma's doing work, man. She is she is definitely earning her, her fish in the uh, in the cyber dog slash cat pack. And I'm so happy to have her along, man. She is an awesome cat. I love you. I love you, Paloma. All right, guys, we are almost done here filling out um, the floor of the harbor. This is going to be sweet when we get to see um, what it's going to look like in its in its totality. We can then start working on the anti-physics fail um, pillars that are going to hold up the lakeside villa. So that is exciting times. Paloma, get your butt up. Come and sit over here, man. Come on. Come, kitty. Come on. Look how cute she is, man. Come on, kitty. Come on. Do you guys like whistle to your cats or something? I don't think cats respond to any sort of whistling or any sort of, you know, cats like, cats just do what they want, man. Cats are like humans but really arrogant humans you know you're like offer your cat a slice of the the most expensive fillet steak that you've ever had and uh, the cat will just look at it sniff 
and then literally raise his butthole at you as he walks away. It's just like, nope, I'm not having that fillet, man. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna go and uh, lie down somewhere and lick myself for a while. You can have the fillet. <laughs> man, I wish I had a cat in real life. My flat is way too small for a cat, so unfortunately I can't have a kitty. But maybe one day, man, hopefully one day we'll be able to have a kitty. Alright, let's have a look, guys. Look, we've been babbling on about cats and it somehow the harbor floor has made itself. Looking absolutely awesome, isn't it, guys? I'm loving this, man. This is so epic. So what I was thinking about the pillars, right? What I wanted to do was have two pillars um, symmetrically aligned. One on this side of the harbor, one on that side of the harbor. And then making some sort of an archway between them, right? So that it, it looks kind of sweet. So they aren't just pillars sticking up out of the ground. So what I think we'll try and do is we'll try and make them the same way that we made the pillars in, uh, the, in the front of the lakeside villa. And I think the way that we did that was... What, what I'm going to do in this episode is just experiment with using cobblestone as our pillar. Um, what I want to do is... So this is going to be the base of the pillar like this, right? And now that we get these awesome cornerstones also, which we didn't have when we first started making the Lakeside Villa, it looks even better. So that's what I'm thinking, right? Just like that. But the cobblestone kind of doesn't really fit, does it? It, it kind of it kind of sticks out quite badly. Plus, I think what we need to do is actually move the pillar across by one block over here. So that there's a, a nice space over here in between the um, the outline of the the harbor floor and the actual docking station. So let's try. Let's make sure that our pillar is sort of over here, right? Well, if we want to keep it totally symmetrical, it needs to be over here. So that and these these are actually yeah. We definitely won't won't use those stairs. Oh God, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm really hungry. So my jumping abilities are actually awful. Let's head back to our crafting table and make just a couple of um, these stone stairs over here. Man, we are using up all of our stone bricks that we're supposed to be using for, for Mole City to do this project. But uh, it's worth it, man. It is worth it. Oh, and check, I got, a, I got a little bit of urn. I don't know if you guys spotted it. Let me know in the comment section below if you spotted um, that little cache of urn that we found while we were digging away the walls, man. I was like, yeah, baby, this is awesome. Making a harbor and getting some urn at the same time. Who could ask for better? All right, so check it out, right? So that's our pillar. I kind of like it like that. Let's have a look. What happens if we just add these in? Yeah, that looks, you see, that looks really awesome. Except it's not really symmetrical, which is annoying. But you see, the problem is, right? Oh, goodness, guys. You know what we're going to have to do, right? Yeah, I can hear you all saying exactly the same thing that I'm saying. We're going to have to extend the lakeside villa by one block in this direction. That is the only way that we are going to get these pillars beautifully symmetrical with one another. Um, and that is, a, that is a crying shame, man. That is gonna, man, that is gonna be a lot of work. But, I mean, I've gotta do it, guys. Because what I want um, is I want two spaces of jungle wood between the pillar and um, the edge of the canals, right? That is that is the, the symmetry that I'm going for over here. So, I think the block's gotta be over here, right? So, let's, let's check it out. So, there's two over there, two over there. And then what we're going to have to do is move everything one block back over here to, to complete the symmetry. So let's just experiment with this side, right? Let's not just let's not do too much work unless we really like it. So let's fill that in, and we have just four jungle planks left. And there is a skeleton over here, man. Dude, the canals are not open. This is a restricted area. Check, these squids want those balls, man. They're like, give me the balls! Squids, you do not eat balls of XP. You eat... Uh, what do squids eat anyway? Oh my goodness, I almost drowned underneath that ice. I think they eat plankton? <laughs> Who knows, man. Um, right, what were we doing? I've just distracted myself. Oh, we're, we're after more um, jungle wood plants. There we go. Stupid squids. Man, I hate squids. Um, I think everybody hates squids. Um, <laughs> right, let's continue building the pillar. So now you can see, 
it is completely symmetrical in this beautiful square over here. And we're going to have to do exactly the same on that side. But here comes the problem, my friends. Here comes the problem. Um, well, we might not need to extend the, the Lakeside Villa. We might just build like a really cool, I don't know, maybe we could make like a, um, a spire or something just above the pillar. You know what I'm saying, man? That, that might work. Because right now, um, we're able to do it like that. I mean, that isn't awful. I gotta say, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. But why don't we get the pillar lined up on this side, though? So, plan. Yeah, we're gonna have to move in one direction that way, too. Did I just say one direction? I take that back with all the force in my soul. I, I'm... Oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe I just said it. The, the words that shall not be named... Right, guys, ignore that I ever said those two words. And uh, let's continue. <laughs> okay, so let's lay down the, the, um, the outline of the harbor floor over here. I really hate One Direction, guys, by the way. Um, if you guys are fans. <sighs> probably the girls who are watching this, if there are... I know there are a few. Sorry, guys, you probably love One Direction, but I, I hate them. Probably because... I'm um, Mostly because I'm jealous. Um, you know. <laughs> Freaking bastards. Um, Alright, anyway. <laughs> back to the task at hand over here, guys. Distracted by a freaking boy band. Can you believe it? So, the pillar's going to extend up to here. Now, now we've got a problem, right? Because now the pillar isn't even touching the lakeside villa. So, um, we're definitely going to have to do something about that. But, the pillars are now 100% aligned. What we're going to do, I think, is make some awesome redstone torches or redstone lamps or, sh or chandeliers or something like that. Or we might, you know, like harbors always have like these really nice old lamp posts and stuff on them. So maybe we'll do something like that. Or maybe we'll, uh, we'll use some iron rods or something to create some torches around here. But the, the, um, the pillars are up and we're going to have to do a little bit more work on uh, the lakeside villa. It looks like we might have to extend the lakeside villa room above this pillar by, by one um by sort of one block over here so that is not too bad but what i want to try before the end of this episode guys and i tell you what i'm going to do is just lay down some scaffolding above this canal over here what i want to do is try and get some sort of an arch going um because i think that's going to look pretty awesome and uh what we'll do is uh, we might not have enough jungle planks for this though unfortunately let's have a look i've got spruce wood planks and are those jungle plant uh, jung uh, those are, are spruce wood stairs we've got a, a, a few jungle wood blocks in here so we can actually make some more we're gonna have to make some stairs though too so um let's just make some stairs and now let's just experiment so what i wanted to do was make some sort of an awesome arch kind of thing um and I think what we'll have to... Something like this, right? Something like this. That looks kind of butt ugly. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get rid of one layer like this. Hmm. No, because what... I mean, basically what I want is like a, a beam to run across the, um, the lakeside villa, right? So maybe what we need to do is change this into wood. Then, if we put the stairs like this, then we make this sort of arch structure, right? I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Just doing some experimentation. This is kind of like how I'm seeing it in my mind. If you've got any um, other ideas, let me know in the comment section below. You see, that's looking kind of ugly, man. I'm not feeling that at all. I don't like this at all, in fact. I mean, what we could do... I th let's, let's, let's experiment like... Oh, dude, I am busy, man! Can you not see I'm busy? bastard all right so check it out we could just do it like that and then have the the stone pillar propping up the beam right yeah that kind of works it doesn't quite achieve the, the the arch that i was after though you know i was envisioning like this really sweet sort of arch structure made out of wood but oh man i don't know if we're going to be able to do it Oops, wrong tool. There we go. Let's just get the plankage in there and have a look from afar. We'll go out into the ocean and have a look what it looks like. 
All right, let's just look from this direction. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. It's it's just okay. You guys know what I'm saying, right? It is it is okay. Like I'm not a hundred percent happy with that. I'm really happy with the harbor floor, but I'm I'm I don't know. There's just something about this that is that is just not working for me right now, man. Let's try add another step to the other sides, just like this. Let's have a look. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's just, it's just very flat, you know? Like, I, I kind of wanted it to arch more like this. Um, I mean, what we could try and do is, is something like this, right? Hey, that actually looks pretty sweet. Oh god, incoming! Take it! Take it to your spider butt! Right, let's try this. See, now we're talking, man. Now we're talking. I'm kind of feeling that. Let's replace that inner stair with um, a block of stone. Same on this side. Oh no! You bastard! Paloma! You are not doing your job. What are you... Paloma! You, what are you doing? You are not focused right now? A creeper almost destroyed our hard work. Luckily, um, he was a noob creep, creeper and actually didn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so, so anyway, <laughs> back to the task at hand here. Let's have a look. How does that look? See, that's looking a little bit better. I'm kind of feeling that, man. That is pretty sweet. And maybe what we could do... Why don't we try this, guys? Let's make a little piece of slabbage. I, did I just hear the door of the Lakeside Villa open? I'm pretty sure I just heard the door of the Lakeside Villa open. We have an unwelcome guest! Let's try that. Let's have a look. You see, now I'm starting to feel it more, man. That is starting to feel really good to me. I'm really liking that, in fact. Maybe what we need to do is complete this um, slabbage like this. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet, actually. Paloma, you sit down. I'm going out into the ocean. You cannot come into the ocean because you're a cat. Cats plus welder equals bad times for cat. So, guys, let's get in this boat and uh, have a look back at the lakeside villa from a distance. And uh, this will give us an idea of what our arch is looking like. Um, I think well, I think that's looking pretty sweet. I kind of... Oops. Where am I going? <laughs> where am I going, man? Turn around. Turn this boat around. There we go. Right. That is looking pretty decent. There is a zombie with some armor on. Going to have a little dance with a creeper. Man, there's some weird stuff going around the mole hole these days, guys. Um, so guys, let me know what you think about this design. I think that that is looking pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Um, if this... If this boat would actually... <laughs> if it, okay, <laughs> here we go. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Man, that was some epic boat failing going on over there, guys. Let's just get into a better position. Um, and we can have a look at what this arch looks like i think that's looking pretty sweet creeper you are not welcome take it man can i shoot him in water yes i can all right let, let's do one more reversal over here all right there we go guys there that's a good view stop boat there we go that's looking pretty good man it's completely out of uh, symmetry over here though guys so we're definitely going to have to do something here to to make this completely symmetrical but i would love your feedback on this guys what do you think about um the arches of the lakeside villa uh, harbor so far i'm pretty happy i think we can uh, improve it a lot more but i'm i think we're getting there man guys this has been rendog playing minecraft survival to the right hand side you can see the entrance to the sewers over there as well as a creeper having a spaz attack but guys i hope you have enjoyed this episode and if you have you know what to do you hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button there's way more let's play minecraft survival and let's play uh, minecraft feed the beast on the way guys on the Rendog channel. We will see you in the next
next video. Goodbye, my friends. Kaplam!